Hello, everybody. My name is Rashawn Humphrey. Uh, I'll be presenting um, this article based off of the New York Times regarding hotel and the resort's eco-friendly decisions and what they're trying to do to address uh, climate change. So hotels and resorts are beginning to make changes to reduce the impact of carbon dioxide and plastic having a negative impact on the oceans and landfills around their area. While doing this, they still plan to maintain an excellent experience for the tourists that come so they aren't affected negatively. How do they plan on doing this? There are four ways these resorts and hotels are trying to change this and address climate concerns. The first one is saving coral reefs. The resort Conrad Bora Bora Nui in French Polynesia developed 17 regenerable underwater coral structures around the resort. Marine biologist Denzi Snyder developed this by using a bar rock technique, which is passing a low voltage current through electrodes in the water. This is one of the best ways to fight coral mortality. The general manager of the hotel has seen an increase of coral around the resort. They also allow guests to snorkel and see these coral reefs. This supports the ecosystem and feeds the species that live in and around the coral reefs. Fairmont, Fairmont Mayacoba in Riveria Maya, Mexico has come up with a snorkel tour for their guests after partnering with a non-governmental organization called Oceanus IC. The guests gather Acapora palmate, a type of reef building coral material that's been detached by the marine current. They then transplant the coral to the sea bottom to make sure it's able to continue growing with the help of a professional, of course, that's uh, also part of the tour. In doing this, they include their guests in preserving the environment of the ocean as well as giving them a fun experience. The second way that they're addressing climate concern is energy and water cons conservation. Some hotel resorts have come up with ways to conserve energy and water while still giving guests a luxury experience. Jade Mountain Resort in St. Lucia uses water from a river in the Ansi Mamine Valley for their water supply. They filter it through a treatment facility. And they also use open air rooms to let in a natural breeze to cool those areas instead of depending on air conditioning. So the property has no air conditioning at all. They just use these open air rooms to cool down the rooms, which is pretty nice. Salmar Hotels and Resorts in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico uses photothermal panels to heat water on the property. It's a renewable energy source that produces the gasless heat. This helps release fewer emissions into the atmosphere and save energy. Hosteling International USA is the first hostel company in the world to have smart showers that give people up to seven minutes to shower on the properties. Actually, just seven minutes. Anything past that, they shut it down. Uh, these showers alert its guests when time's up with color LED lights. This is one way they can actually save gallons of water from being used yearly. The Cuda du Resort in the Maldives is the first fully energy sustainable property on the island. They use solar panels that are built into the roof to its main building and it can fall, fully power up the island. The Savar in Norway will open in 2022 as the world's first net energy positive hotel above the Polar Circle. The whole prop property will be powered by solar energy and excess energy will be saved for when the country has more dark filled days than light ones. And they have also removed materials that consume more energy like concrete and instead they use more eco-friendly material like wood, glass, and natural stone. The third way that these hotels and resorts are trying to address climate concerns is preserving food and repurposing waste. The Spectator Hotel in Charlestown, South Carolina has made a waste diversion program where half-eaten food like fruit or pastries are put into a digester that turns them into reusable water instead of just throwing them away. And they've diverted over 11,234.5 pounds of food waste into 944 gallons of water. Also, the Inn at De Dos Brisas in Washington, Texas, won an industry award for changing their waste into organic fertilizer that is reviving the land. This organic fertilizer can be used to be sold at farmer markets. And the last thing that hotels and resorts are trying to do is create eco-minded communities. Two Arla hotels in New York offer free monthly talks about sustainability and effort to form a community of eco-conscious travelers. The Palms Hotel and Spa in Miami has three hour, three hour long beach cleanups every three months. Guests can register and help, and they are also encouraged to bring their own reusable water containers.
this is the reference to the article that I used. Um, I put it on the module as well for you guys to read it yourselves. And it's a really good read. It's interesting. It's a really good uh, thing to read about. And um, yeah, thank you for listening to my, my presentation. Thank you. And I hope you guys have a good, a, a good semester. Goodbye.